Hi, Georgia Burns here. Today I'm going to show you how I made this pretty card. To make this card I used the stamp set Wonderful Romance and Beautiful Day. Um, I also used the Gala Gingham Gingham Gala Designer Series Paper and today I'm going to use Lemon Lime Twist and this one it was Highland Heather I also made one in um, Balmy Blue so today we're going to make one in um, Lemon Lime Twist so you need a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored and folded in half, and burnished. I always forget to burnish it. Two pieces, one piece of Whisper White at five and five eighths. No, five and yeah, five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. That's for the inside. A piece of lemon lime twist at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. A piece of white cardstock at five and three eighths by three and five eighths. And a piece of gingham paper at three and five eighths by five and three eighths. To start with, we'll get this one. We're going to stamp the design. Right, so that you don't have to watch me colour it all in, I've actually stamped and coloured it one in already. So, all I did was put that as far down to the bottom as I could. And stamped it. Clean the ink. Just put that away for now. We'll need it again to stamp the sentiment. Then you colour it all in. But like I said, I've already coloured mine in. So, the magic of YouTube, there's mine all coloured in. That's to save you from sitting there watching me colour it in. Right, to get this part, and this the same to match, what I did is put them both together and run it through the guillotine. Right, if you want the small squares rather than the big squares at the top, make sure it is facing up the way when you put them together. Because if you have it that way around, it will cut wrong. You won't be able to have your small squares. So I'll bring the guillotine up. And all I did was put, making sure they're both together and even, and chopped them together. Now that's moved. Want to make a bit of a slant, so. Chopped it off. Get rid of this. So we won't need that bit, and we won't need that bit, but we need these two bits to go along like that. Now this bit you can use to make a different card which I've already done, but I can't show you because I've already given it away. So, I shall save them to make another piece of card. 
Right. What I also did to make gluing them down easier, I stuck them together like that, placed them together, and then used a bit of my double sided tape. And I put three bits on, like that. And that held them together like that. Except it's not quite straight. Try that again. That's it. And what I forgot to say you'll need is a one eight inch piece of cardstock just to put over the seam. Like that. So to do that I shall glue it down. Just don't want to be gluing the whole thing. So I Push that in like that. And then with my paper snips, trimmed it off. Both ends. Get rid of that. Now the sentiment um, from Beautiful Day and the Happy Birthday we stamped across there on, on top of the gingham. So let's get rid of my glue. Don't need it for now. Ink up my stamp. Place that just there and pray you've got it straight. Oh, beautiful! And the stamp. Then what we do, we stick this on top of here, like that, and then that on top of the card. That is quite a pretty card that, I like that colour. So, with my glue, So a little bit extra on it. Stick that. 
Just thinking what I've done. I've done a little design but I haven't bought. I'll put all some any age in it and some little corners which I haven't bought the stamp sets over for, with me so I should do them off camera. So I won't glue that down yet, I'll just put that in there. All that's left to do is to put a little bow on it as I have on this one. So with my one eighth of an inch ribbon a little bow so make a loop take it around the back of your finger make another loop and thread that through and pull and as always I didn't leave enough um, ribbon to make a loop that's too big right trim it down Nicely there. Tuck the end in so it don't unravel. And with this, we'll just stick a bit of glue on the knot. And stick it down there. I didn't have a lemon lime twist um, blender pen to colour the flowers in, but I didn't really want that, so I added um, pineapple punch to the flowers to give them a bit of colour. I hope you're like, oh, I never put any gems on. Can't have a card without gems. So I'll put these little silver buttons I've got. So I'll put one there. One there. I hope you like them. And the blue one I made. The blue one I laid the flower around a different way. And I used a different sentiment. Wishing you an amazing birthday. But I wanted a longer sentiment. That's why I chose that one. That was the first one I made. I hope you like them. If you do, give us a thumbs up. Comment which one you like best or colour. Um, if you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And press the notification button. And you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and a Friday. All I can say is thank you for visiting. And see you again soon. Bye.